In this video, I'm going to cover the CAT 4 Level Y test, which is given to Year 3 students, and show you realistic sample questions for each section. But first, let's quickly go over the test structure so that you know exactly what to expect. The CAT 4 Level Y has two parts, and each part is divided into two sections. Each section has specific time limits and amount of questions, as you can see in this table. Now, let's answer several sample questions together so that you get a feel for the actual test. The first question type is from the figure section. In each of these questions, the first three figures are similar in some way. Work out how they are the same. Then, choose the answer choice that shares the same connection. All three figures consist of three lines. One line is intersected by the other two lines, which do not intersect each other. Now, we need to look at the answer choices and find another figure with the same characteristics. We can see that option A shares the same connection as the three given figures, so this is the correct answer. Let's try another sample question from this section. All three given shapes on the left have dotted outlines and contain a gray triangle and a black star. Let's look at the answer choices on the right and search for a figure with the same characteristics. We can see that option D has a dotted outline and contains a gray triangle and a black star. Therefore, it's the correct answer. All right, moving on to the next section of the test, which is called words. In each of these questions, there are three words in bold. These three words are similar in some way. Decide how they are the same. Then, choose the word from the answer choices that goes with the first three words. The first three words are lemon, orange, and grapefruit. These are all types of citrus fruits. Therefore, we need to select the answer choice that is also a citrus fruit. So, the correct answer is lime. Let's try another question from this section. The first three words are thunder, lightning, and hail. These are all parts of a thunderstorm. Therefore, we need to select the answer choice that is also part of a thunderstorm. The correct answer is rain. Moving on to the next test section, which is called numbers. Each of these questions shows a series of numbers. You need to work out the rule or rules used to arrange the numbers. Then, select the answer choice that shows the next number in the series. In this series, two patterns alternate between each other. The last digit in the series belongs to pattern 1, and the next number will be from pattern 2. Therefore, the next number will be 4 minus 3, which equals 1, and this is the correct answer. Let's solve another number series question. The sequence has two parts that repeat, a number, then the number 10. The first part is counting up by three. It starts at three, then goes to six, then nine, then 12. Since the sequence ends with 12, which is the counting part, the next number has to be 10, which is the repeating part. All right, now we have come to the last section of the test called shapes. Each of these questions has a target shape, the target is hidden in one of the five designs. Find where the target is hidden and select the letter of that design. The target will be exactly the same size and orientation. You won't need to imagine it turned around or flipped over. All the sides of the target have to be shown in the design. The correct answer is B. The shape is visible in the middle of the figure. Let's answer another sample question from this section. The correct answer is D. The shape is visible at the bottom left of the figure. So, that was the last section of the exam and the last sample question on this video. Make sure you visit our dedicated guide for more CAT 4 Level Y sample questions and preparation tips. I added a link in the description below and in the pinned comment. You'll also find there our complete practice package with three full-length tests and more than 300 practice questions to build your child's test-taking skills and maximize their chances of scoring high. Last but not least, don't forget to like and subscribe, as I'm going to make lots of helpful videos like this one. I hope you learned and enjoyed it. See you next time and good luck with your test.